Yo, what's good, Evan? Welcome back to the channel. Doing a very quick video today on how to turn these boring slate coasters into these amazing multicolored engraved coasters. So basically, as you can see here, I've done the I've done the Guinness logo coaster there, but the actual harp itself, it's gold, it's a different color. So when you engrave slate, it tends to come out in this like light gray, whitey color. But I'm going to show you today on how you can actually paint different sections and have a different color on there. Only need a couple of things for this. Obviously, you're going to need some slate coasters. You're going to need a laser cutter engraver. Nothing too powerful, really, with slate. Um, I use a really low power at high speed. You're going to need some masking tape. So with the masking tape, you're going to mask off the area you want to be able to paint. And the, uh, the laser cutter is going to be able to engrave through that really easy. You're going to need some really strong sticky tape as well. You'll find it a while later, so I'm just using this standard duct tape. You're going to need some paint. I'll be using this Liquitex Acrylic Ink Gold. I'll be using that through my airbrush and I'll be thinning it with airbrush thinner. You'll find all that stuff on Amazon. Uh, you can use an aerosol, like a spray paint. Should work absolutely fine. You can probably get away with using uh, paint brushes while I paint. But the thing is, because you're going to be using this to mask off the items, the masking tape, it's, it's not the best, so it might bleed under it. So if you have a look at that one, I'm not sure how well you can see that there. Uh, but I went a bit heavy with the uh, with the paint, and it bled under. So yeah, you'd have to be careful with that. And also what you're going to need is like a clear coat. Um, so this is just a satin one. Um, I've also got a, a clear lacquer. Uh, which I usually use for these, so I'll probably use that one to do it. So with that, all you're going to need to be doing is a layer on top before you do anything, and then the layer at the very end. Uh, this helps with as you can see there's a different colour. So the darker one, so as soon as you spray a, a clear coat on top of the sleep coaster, it goes dark straight away. And when you notice, the colour on the actual engrave is similar to the colour without the clear coat, so all it does is it takes a very thin layer off when you're engraving. Obviously, you're going to be seeing the lower uh, the the bits below it, right? So let's go and uh, let's go and do this. I'm going to film this on my phone because it's going to be easier than moving the camera. So, wait two seconds. Right. So, so we need very light coat over the top. You'll see it turn dark instantly. Is all you're gonna need. It's easy as that. Right back in. Okay, there we go. Uh, so I said, now we've got the clear lacquer on it. It's instantly gone dark. It's close to drying. Anything I paint, I always, I always tend to use a heat gun just to speed up the drying process. So yeah, that's dry nice and quick. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna get a quick bit of masking tape. I do have a bit here. It might not be big enough. I'm just gonna get a quick bit of masking tape. So with it, I'm just going to be putting where roughly where the harp is going to be. You said you can mask the whole thing off because the laser cutter is just going to burn through the masking tape straight away, and it's going to go straight onto the coaster. But using a little bit there just to take that off, and as you can see, that's going to it's going to grate the harp. The word at the top is going to be fine. So uh, yeah, we'll take this to the sort of laser cutter, and we'll get that done. Right, so over here now on the laser cutter, as you can see, what I tend to do is put a scrap piece of wood in there, and then I'll do a very light pass of the actual size. So I believe the slate coat is about 80 mil. So all I've done, put into the software to quickly engrave uh, an 80 mil, I think it's about 82 mil, it's just a little bit bigger on there, just so I know exactly where to put this every time. Tape always facing the top that in the middle so i'll show you that now so on the actual design as you on the actual outside i've got a vector cut it's not going to cut it's going to be such uh it's going to be so quick and so low power it's just going to score that line so i'll show you now exactly what i mean let me just close this lid and we're going to run that through there very quickly just to make sure There we 
go. So you can see the line there is done. So I'm just going to pop that into the middle of that. Put the tape facing up. So that's going to be where the harp is going to engrave. I'm going to get this done now. It'll take a couple of minutes. And then we'll be back once it's done. A few moments later. There we go, guys. So I just stopped it halfway through. We're not really going to need the, uh, the wood Guinness underneath for, the, uh, for this task at the moment. But as you can see, the masking tape it's the laser engravers cut through that absolutely perfect all the small details in there you can see it all fine so we're going to be keeping that on there and that's obviously what we're going to be used to paint him so go back to the workbench and we're going to get to the painting right there we go so that's engraved absolutely perfect so what we're going to do now the next step will be masking the rest of the actual coaster off before painting because with the airbrush you can get messy and go everywhere else. So yeah, you're just going to mask everything off apart from the harp. So just pop a bit there. I'll do the words at the top. To the side. And we do the bottom. Uh, right, so there you go. Everything's masked off, apart from now the harp that's been actual engraved out on the machine. So that's the part we're going to be painting. There we go. So next step of this now is painting. So I'm going to be using an airbrush. While I was cutting, I did clean this out. So hopefully I left a bit of paint in there. So yeah, it's congealed a bit. So just a drop or two, not going to need much for this. There we go. So I'm now just going to paint a very thin layer over the top. Look at that done now. That's coming out fine. thin layer there uh, I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera but oh, wait, wait, there we are so I'm just gonna dry it very quickly with taking this out of there so I'll dry this first layer very quick because it's such a thin layer it'll dry quickly on its own anyway very quickly but yeah I'm just gonna speed it up with the heat gun Straight away, while it's still warm, we're gonna pop our second coat on. So it doesn't really matter how many coats you put on. Just don't be too heavy with it, because it will, it will bleed. Bleed under the, under the masking tape. Third, possibly the final coat. Yeah. Final coat done. So let's dry this very quickly. nice and dry. Right, so can we get... So there we go, that's all nice and gold. So next up's gonna be now taking off the mask and tape. So we'll take the big bits off first. Nice and easy. If you're doing lots of these coasters, try and save as much of that mask and tape as you can. Recycling and all that. Here we go. So with this now, let me try and get this back in focus. It's just going to do a peel here. So as you can see, the word Tom Stag has been cut out absolutely perfect. And then the peel on the rest. Go 
those sharp lines. Right, so there's still a fair bit of mask and tape on those. There's still some in the words at the top and within the harp itself. So you can do this manually by hand, you can just scratch at it. I wouldn't recommend doing that straight away. Do let the paint cure fully before doing that. But this is why I said to get the the strong the stronger tape. So we're gonna get a small bit of duct tape for you. Just enough to cover the harp. Put them on. In. So all this is going to do now, this is just going to remove any access. It's going to say we do any like weeding or anything yourself. Just rub that in there. And it's hopefully you should just do it in one pass. It has. There we go, let's try and get this back in focus. Look at that, that is absolutely perfect. There's still a bit of masking tape in there at the top, but this is just to show you I was done, so I'm not too bothered about that. But look at that. That is absolutely fantastic. It, it'll work with, obviously, any design or shape you're doing, just use the masking technique and it'll work. You could use different colors, obviously. And if you want to do the Guinness in a white, we would have masked that up before cutting, masked the top up, done it all, and then masked everything off apart from the harp, paint the harp, remasked the harp, take the bottom off for the Guinness, and then painted that bit as well. So there we go. It's as easy as that. And that's taken me, what, five, ten minutes to show you. I did a massive batch of these for obviously Tom Stag. And um, yeah, it was just doing one, masking it, putting it into the cutter, taking it out, painting it while I was painting that, doing the next one in the cutter. I was doing one every, what, a minute, two minutes. I was just getting them out very quick. Like I said, this is just a quick one. You could do any pattern you wanted. You could do a heart, you can paint it red. Uh, the options with this are absolutely limitless. But yeah, I thought I'd show you. It's that easy. I had lots of people ask me how to do it. And that's how you do it, as easy as that. Quick, easy, what you wanna do at the end as well, sorry I did miss out, you wanna put one last layer, obviously a clear coat over the top, that's gonna protect it then, all the engraving and the actual paint itself. Uh, and obviously it'll just make it last a lot, lot longer. Okay, 